Hey, what's up, everybody? Just wanted to go over something really quick. Um, so, just quickly, this is something that I was working on to submit to a program called Tenogen for a game called Warframe, if you're familiar with it or not. Uh, but anyways, a lot of the time when we are given these mesh, uh, meshes, and anybody can download them, uh, it's just a thing through Steam, a program called Tenogen. But anyways, a lot of the time, let me go into solo mode here, the meshes are triangulated like this, which when you subdivide, it's not that great. And it's not as easy to go through here. And, you know, if you subdivide this up, you're going to get pinching. And even if you smooth it out, it's not. Well, the relax smooth does pretty good, like holding shift and letting go. But anyways. So, I found a way to uh, basically obliterate the triangles in a mesh. So, this will make it so much easier to crease. And it also maintains the UV, surprisingly. Which I know this is probably like something you could do super easy in Blender or Maya or something like that. But it's just nice to be able to come into ZBrush and do it. Because the only alternative I found... Um, before this was this modified topology and then uh merge tries right here so what you could do is you could and i'm going to show the difference so let's uh go to skin shader uh so you guys can actually see well the poly frame here uh <clears throat> so if i hit merge tries this is the result and there's no more triangles now but this is not ideal. So I'm going to screenshot that. And then we're going to come over here. I'm going to undo. And now I'm going to show you what happens when you map. So local subdivision is basically subdividing a masked area. Now look what ha uh Well, an unmasked area. I'm sorry. It's subdividing the unmasked area. So look what just happened. Did you see the, tri the triangles in the hand? So I was like, well, what happens if I, and I stumbled this on, I stumbled on this on accident. I was like, what happens if, you know, I just mask the whole thing and subdivide? Well, bam. And now, I mean, this is crazy. Like, it's not perfect. And also sometimes you'll see that um, the symmetry will not be the same in this case it is. Uh. It kind of just depends, but, and there will still be some triangles. It just depends on, uh, it will not delete it. If it's going to leave a hole, it won't delete the triangle. Um, and it does maintain the UVs. So, you know, I can come here to UV map, morph UV, see the UVs are still intact. I mean, I can put her texture maps on here and everything and it'll work just like it did uh, before so i'll undo morph uv the uvs are exactly the same whereas the merged triangles does not keep the uvs so you know if there's another way to go about this in zbrush that's cleaner maybe i mean feel free to leave it in the comments that's awesome uh if there is and i just missed it but i am surprised at this and it also will work with like sculptress and stuff to clean it up a little bit if so I'll just come in here with a sculptress brush and uh, just to demonstrate that real quick. So we'll do kind of big, uh, bigger size brush, I guess, just to, so it doesn't. Yeah, so sculptress creates a lot of tries, but you can, not that that's really ideal. I'm not sure how much that's actually going to help in the long run, but it is kind of cool. Um, the only thing I found that it doesn't work, it, this works with decimation as well. Like you can decimate a model and... You know, all those triangles, if, if it's a really low poly decimation, it's going to be kind of wonky. But when you get rid of the triangles, because a lot of those are keeping the form. But yeah, this is a really handy trick. Um, and this model, is, you know, it. I didn't make this model. This is a uh, property of digital extremes. But just, just to put that out there. Um, but anybody, like I said, anybody can download it and uh, sculpt on it to make a skin and this is really useful for stuff like this um so i just figured i'd share it hopefully it helps some of you guys out there 
because uh you know subdividing something that is quads you get a much cleaner result it's just so much cleaner and it's also easier to come through here with the z model or increase you know uh the loops because you know if you try to crease triangles it stops at every interval which you can increase shortest path but still all right that's all for this one hope you guys like it hope it helps peace